Uh, Christian Tomazetti, a uh, professor and director of the Center for Cancer Prevention and Early Detection at City of Hope, Antigen. We typically work with cell-free DNA, and as I said, the purpose is to find hopefully cancer as early as possible, um, as well as, uh, again, assays and algorithms for the what we call MRD, minimal residual disease. And so there you want to find a cancer that is coming back, recurring. So those are the two main directions in, in that I'm working on. What do you see as some of the biggest hurdles in implementing early cancer detection? Uh, there are several. Uh, I guess I'll focus on two or three. One is um, specifically with respect to what I'm doing is in terms of assays. It's a big challenge to find this very small signal in the blood. And so there are technological challenges and uh, you know, depending also on the capabilities of a sequencer, for example, and so on. Uh, <clears throat> and then there are many challenges with respect to um, applying these technologies to patients and to people. And so the idea, for example, that you have, we call them false positive, right? And so you're going to tell a person they have cancer when they actually don't. Um, and so the, it's a pretty high bar that we need to to reach uh, before really implementing this in the general population. And, uh, but I'm, I'm very optimistic that we're getting there. Can you tell us how you're using ONSO in your early detection research? Yes, we were lucky to get early access to ONSO. And so we were excited to test this new technology. And uh, what we did is we had uh, this pilot study. Um, it's looking at fragmentomics, which is one way to do cancer early detection. And so we applied uh, uh, this technology to our samples and we analyzed the data. Looking at the results, um, the performance uh, compared to the standard technology was uh, significantly better. And so that is very exciting because, as I said in, in the previous questions, I think one of the key challenges in terms of you know, adopting cancer early detection methodologies is that the technologies get good enough. The, our false positive rates are very small and the sensitivity is high and, and so on. So it's all about how good of a job you do with your assay. So I've been uh, sequencing the technology that gives you much more accurate data. It's, it's, it's basically super critical. It's probably the most critical thing in, in the whole assay, so. What does ONSO enable that you weren't able to achieve before? Well, looking at our preliminary data coming from this pilot study, um, the performance is, I would say, in order of magnitude better than with standard technology. And so what that enables us to do is to reduce this gray area where you are not sure whether that is a cancer sample or is a healthy sample, right? And so there are the very clear cancer cases, the very clear healthy cases, but the challenge for all these technologies is what about this gray area, right? So um, having a technology that is that much better uh, makes a big difference.